What if the Vancouver Canucks drafted right from 2004 to 2014? From 2004 to 2014, the Vancouver Canucks did not draft very well. Not drafting well during this time period is a big reason why the Vancouver Canucks are not very good right now. In this episode, I will go back and fix the draft mistakes made by the Vancouver Canucks. In 2004, they still select Corey Schneider and Alexander Edler. At pick 124, they should have selected Troy Brower and Andrew Schrader. In 2005, instead of selecting Luke Bordeaux in 10th overall, they should have selected Anze Kopitar. The Canucks still end up drafting Mason Raymond in the 2005 draft. In 2006, the Vancouver Canucks still end up drafting Michael Grabner in the first round. At pick 82, they should have selected Matthew Perot over Daniel Rahim. In 2007, instead of selecting Patrick White 25th overall, they should have selected David Perron. At pick 33, they should have selected Alec Martinez over Taylor Ellington. In 2008, instead of selecting Cody Hawks in 10th overall, they should have selected Tyler Myers. At pick 41, they should have selected Justin Schultz over Jan Suave. With pick 131, they should have selected Cam Atkinson over Pratt Rye. In 2009, instead of selecting Jordan Schroeder 22nd overall, they should have selected Marcus Johansson. At pick 53, they should have selected Riley Smith over Anton Rodin. With pick 83, they should have selected Sammy Batten over Kevin Coniston. With pick 113, they should have selected Eric Halla over Jeremy Smith. In 2010, instead of selecting Patrick Minnelli at 15th overall, they should have selected Peter Morales. In 2011, instead of selecting Nicholas Jensen 29th overall, they should have selected Ricard Raquel. With pick 90, they should have selected Tobias Ryder over Alexandre Grani. In 2012, they still select Brandon Gons in the first Round. With pick 57, they should have selected Issa Lindell over Alexandria Mellon. In 2013, they still selected Will Horvat and Hunter Shinkara. In 2014, instead of selecting Jake Vertan in 6th overall, they should have selected Nikolai Ehlers. At pick 24, they should have selected David Pasternik over Jared McCann. The Vancouver Canucks still end up drafting Corey Schneider, Alex Edler, Michael Grabner, Mason Raymond, Bo Horvat, Brendan Gantz, and Hunter Shinkara. Due to salary cap restrictions, some trades will need to be made. Trade Henrik Sedin to the Dallas Stars for Radic Foxva, Antoine Roussel, and a 2015 first round pick, Matthew Barzell. Daniel Sedin to the New York Islanders for a first round pick in 2015, Brandon Carlo and Ryan Strome. Tobias Ryder, Alexander Edler, and a first round pick in 2015, Brock Besser to the Colorado Avalanche for Matt Duchesne. Justin Schultz and Jimmy VC to the Boston Bruins for Dougie Hamilton. Radic Foxva, David Perron, and Riley Smith to the Anaheim Ducks for Cam Fowler. Tyler Myers and Troy Brower to the Calgary Flames for TJ Brody and Paul Byron. Mason Raymond, Hunter Shinkrook, and Brandon Gauntz to the Florida Panthers for Eric Dubronson. This is how the lineup looks like at the beginning of the 2014-15 season. First line, Ricard Raquel, Anze Kopitar, and Cam Atkinson. Second line, Marcus Johansson, Matthew Shane, David Passionate. Third line, Matthew Perot, Eric Halla, Michael Grabner. Fourth line, Antoine Roussel, Bo Horvat, Paul Byron. First D pair, TJ Brody, Dougie Hamilton. Second D pair, Cam Fowler, Sammy Batten. Third D pair, Eric Dubronson, Alec Martinez. Both tenders are Corey Schneider and Peter Morass. There are very good prospects in the system too, like Ryan Strom, Nikolai Ehlers, Matthew Barzell, Brandon Carlo, and Asa Lindell. With the roster the Vancouver Canucks have right here, they are in position to contend for a Stanley Cup. Next, what if the Tampa Bay Lightning drafted right from 1992 to 2003?